Hi there, Stanton here from Olga Trading. Today I'm introducing to you the Fibonacci Trader Pro. This is very similar to the previous Fibonacci Trader I released earlier this year, but with some major differences. So let's go through the input parameters and discuss those differences. First we've got the normal settings. If we've got our trade comment, our magic number. If you want to print your error logs or your um, information logs, you turn that true or false. We've got a max number of buy positions per symbol. So if you're trading four symbols here, the Euro, D, Euro USD could only have one buy and one sell. This is the max total positions across all symbol, including max buys and sells. So across all four of these um, currencies, you will only have to, um, be able to do 10 um, total positions. You can change that if you want to. Slippage is the slippage. This is one of the major changes to this, to the Fibonacci Pro. You could either select which currencies you want to trade, separated by a pipe, or if you want to just tra trade the one currency that um, you've added this to the chart, then you just say current. And then if you want to test multiple currencies in the strategy tester, you would write currency tester. Remember, this currency tester will only work when you're inside the strategy tester. Okay, so let's go back to the defaults. Um, standard money man money management settings. Um, you could either choose if you want to risk in the percentage of your free margin or for constant lot. Um, and then also we've added this max lot size. So it sets the maximum lot that you want to trade. Okay, now we get to the Fibonacci settings. We've got the Fibonacci time frame, and the number of bars to find your support and resistance levels, and then your Fibonacci trading range. The trading range is, and then also we've got here yeah, these add limit and add step stop orders. These are also new features, which will, in the case of a in a cell, when your MACD is in a cell um, trend it will create a sell limit at the 100 Fibonacci and it will create a sell stop at the zero Fibonacci level. So that covers you for your extreme levels so that it will create a sell at the extreme which is 100 and then if you do break below the zero Fibonacci line it will create a sell. So it, it caters for breakouts um, that is in line with the trend. Um, and then it's, it's the reverse for a buy. So if we're in a buy trend, it will create a, a buy stop at the 100 and it will create a buy limit at the zero. Okay, now your trading range. So one of the new things I've done is that I removed the drawing of the Fibonacci lines on the chart because it does take up too much of processing time. And then if you're dealing with multiple currencies, you want it as quick processing time as possible. So if you want to draw the Fibonacci lines, what you'll do is just draw a line between your sell limit and your sell stop. And then this will give you your Fibonacci levels. And as you can see here, I'm using default settings to trade this. It will, if the MACD trend is a sell, as in this case, it will sell between the 50 and the 38.2 Fibonacci, as it did here and as it did there. Okay, so those are the Fibonacci settings. Let me just do... Okay, we'll leave that for now. Um, your MACD settings. I generally tend to leave this unchanged. The only thing I normally change is the applied price and the MACD time frame. Another thing I've done also, I removed the news trading from the from the pro version, um, the new stopping, so and I've also removed the trading day. So the only thing I've got here is the time frame. So start hour and end hour, and if you want to use a trading time. And then the new feature I've added here is the strategy tester. Um, so you could select, if you click this box, what it will do, it will iterate through all of these currencies and choose the best optimization settings for each of those currencies. So you could test against, you could get optimal settings for 
each of these currencies that are in here or if you want to ignore that you'll just set this to current okay so let's let's demonstrate optimizing for multiple currencies so I'm just going to set it to fast generic just for de demonstrating person um, I'm going to put in currency tester here I'm going to leave everything the same. I'm just going to select these two just to have some sort of optimization and then I'm going to test against all of the currencies in there. So you could actually select if you just want the last two but I'm going to select the whole range. Okay, so let's run it. So there we go. It's finding the the optimal the, the optimized um, version for each of the currencies. So you could add all of the the input parameters, or you could select a few. But basically, it will loop through all of the currencies and tell you what is the optimal settings for each of those. finished okay so that's so that's testing multiple currencies now what we're going to do we're just going to go back to our defaults and we're going to show you how it runs for um, so now what you're testing now is the optimal um, optimized settings for these four currencies combined so now you're not testing these individually, you're finding the optimal settings for all four of those currencies combined. So I'm going to untick that. I'm just going to start it. And then you can see. So that is the optimal settings for all four of those currencies. And this is the default settings as well. Okay. And, and if you look at the trading, I'm currently trading the um, the default settings so you could see here uh, that orders have been placed um, buy limits and buy stop orders have been placed for all of the currencies so if we just take a look at the euro USD you can see there's a sell limit being placed and a sell stop being placed as it's been as that is the current trend it is in a sell trend and we look at the same thing for USD Swiss is a buy stop at the 100 Fibonacci and a buy limit at the 0 Fibonacci because this is currently in a buy trend. Another item I want to show you quickly is the, the use of the time zones. So I'm going to load one of my sets which is the Night Scalper set. So this is only trading between 8 o'clock and 4 o'clock in the morning. That's GMT time. And you could see it's a scalper strategy. So my trailing stop and my trailing step and my stop loss and profit is a lot less. I'm just going to run that quickly. If you look at the graph. And I'm just running it on um, one minute OHLC just for the sake of time because it takes quite a while to run on every tech or, or every real tech. And you can see the back test is pretty good, so it's about 150% over six months. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, you remember all of the algos that I are available on the channel are available for sale with 
full source code as, as the algo trading store you just by clicking this link over here and you can get them all on the algo trading store so i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe and see you again soon cheers